Greetings everyone, Digital Extremes have released Hotfix 30.7.5 on PC, and this Hotfix releases the Ghoul Saw Butcher's Revelry Stance changes. This was covered in a previous developer workshop, and now it's live in the game. DE have said, The first of its kind, the Assault Saw is in your hand. The Ghoul Saw has been out for a little under a week, and with it, our latest melee stance, Butcher's Revelry. We are buffing some combos in this stance. More power is coming for Tenno that are out there, comboing like the best of them. So for the Rictus Wrath combo, they've added a guaranteed slash status on the second hit, increase the damage multiplier from two to three of the third attack, and increase the damage multiplier from three to four on the fourth attack. For the Rip and Tide combo, they've increased the damage multiplier of the second hit in the attack from one to two, and increase the damage multiplier of the final hit in the second attack from two to three. Lastly, for the Reciprocator combo, they've increase the damage multiplier of the first two hits of the first attack from 0.5 to 1, increase the damage multiplier of the fourth hit in the first attack from 1 to 2, added a guaranteed slash proc to the third hit in the second attack, and increase the damage multiplier of the final hit in the second attack from 3 to 4. They finished the changes by saying, This means that as you're engaging with combos for all things Ghoulsaw, you'll be dealing more and more damage. We wanted to increase the lethality of all things Ghoulsaw after reading player feedback and felt the combos themselves were the best place to buff a big batch of numbers to encourage use of the full gamut of moves. This also makes it so well into the future, other weapons in this class that share the stance would have this baseline power. Now with this hotfix, that being 30.7.5, DE tweaked elemental weapon effects to bring unification across elemental combos and reskin the customization screen for the note beacon decoration to reflect a more Vitruvian style. For optimizations, DE made micro optimizations to reduce hitches in DirectX 12 and a micro optimization to rendering. For the game's overall fixes, DE fixed the Verve ephemera effect being too transparent around the stomach area. You should see the effect more Prominently now, they fix the inability to engage the Sepulchrum's alt fire mode while aiming, the Kuva Aanga firing projectiles back on the player with maximum fire rate, Nidus Prime's Larvae not using custom colors, Revenant's Mephisto collection diorama in the market missing the rear cape detail, Zaku, Titania, and Gara not having a blueprint hint button in the market, and lastly, they fix not being able to scroll when viewing items displayed in the Leverian. That was Hotfix 30.7. 7.5 on PC. It released on the 17th of September 2021. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.